The landscape of northern Colorado is changing, and something big is taking shape here. Just 45 minutes from downtown Denver, Raindance is set to open next year, and it's only the second new course for this area since 2009. Exciting news for golfers who live in and around the Mile High City on the front range of the Rocky Mountains. Leading the design team will be Harrison Minshew, a veteran of the industry who spent 30 years working for one of the game's most legendary player architects, Arnold Palmer. When you have a natural golf hole that's already there, all you got to do is just, just add a few touches on the sides of it. You really don't have to do much to it. And, and I think my experience has, has taught me how to leave it alone and not try to do too much. For this project, his new partner also has some PGA Tour experience. Lots of it. Fred Funk has spent the last 40 years on tour, racking up 29 professional wins. His biggest coming in 2005 in front of a hometown crowd at the Players' Championship. But this will be his very first crack at design, having played over 6,000 rounds across the globe and being recognized as one of the most accurate on tour. There are a few things about his first design that he is quite certain about. As a pro, we're trying to think how we get off out of here on this hole without more than a bogey. So you're trying to minimize the damage when you've hit a shot that's on the edge of the green and ends up 30, 40 yards away and you have a very difficult up and down. So I don't like that philosophy anymore. I think they've gotten out of hand with that, in my opinion. And then bunkers, fairway bunkers that are too deep to advance it, where they just got to chip out, I don't like those. I like, I love fairway bunkers, but I like a chance to always to hit a good shot to recover from a bad shot. What else is on the list of things that are sort of pet peeves that you would never have on your golf course? I don't believe in super mogul field greens either. Yeah. That's the other thing. Because if they're going to modern golf speeds, which are 12, 13 on a stent meter, and you get greens with too much slope, yeah. you're unputtable. The man who assembled this team is a northern Colorado local. Born and raised here in Windsor, Martin Lind is a third generation farmer and developer who has transformed this area over time. In 1999, he created Pelican Lakes, a thriving golf community on the banks of the Cache Laputa River. He owns the American Hockey League's Colorado Eagles and has several other business ventures that are all focused on his hometown community. The day I met Fred, we were working on a real estate trade deal. We called it the two dead dogs for a dead cat trade. He wanted to buy an airplane. Yeah, he, he was trying to get rid of one, and I, <laughs> I, I couldn't get rid of any real estate. And he, he said, well, two for dead, a dead dogs. Kid. Yeah. That was perfect. So we're, we're just driving around. We weren't even up here. And, and uh, within two hours, you know, Freddie fall in love with a guy. And, he, and two hours we're dinking around. And I go, Fred, you ever design a golf course? He goes, no, it's, I'd give anything to, but that's a pedigree. I'll never get to do that. But I got a million ideas how to quit torturing the golfer. And, and I go, come here. And so we drove up on here, and it was we, that day, we said, let's Fred, you're doing this one. Together, the team at Rain Dance is creating a world-class course with incredible views and vistas. The line off the first tee is directly at Long's Peak, a 14,000-foot monster in the northern front range of the Rocky Mountains. From there, you play your way down the sloping terrain and into some really cool natural landscapes that force you to take notice. This got good real fast. And whatever's gonna be happening down here looks like you never wanna leave. It's a cool place to put a golf course. And this layout will be long. From the back tees, it measures out at over 8,000 yards, which provides plenty of room to host a PGA Tour or Champions Tour event in the future. We did go after a lot of yardage here because of the way the land, as you're gonna see as this unfolds today, you'll see that this property dictated what the golf course was gonna be. And it needed to be big, a big scale and everything else, but 15 of the 18 holes turned out to be level or downhill. We only had three holes uphill. 
Again, downhill, downwind, this would be fun to just, you know, let it rip. We decided we we're going to go with fescue grass, which are really firm, fast conditions, like British Open style. Yeah. And with the modern guys, they say Rory McIlroy comes here and he flies at 320 at sea level, he'll fly at 350 here or more, and get 50 yards of roll, he's going to have 400 plus yard drives. So we needed length to at least challenge these guys on second shots. So you got, you got a thousand, you got almost 12, almost 1200 yards in two holes, back to back. <laughs> That's large. Yeah. Part four. Yeah. Right. Yeah, of course. Of course Fred Funk eats up two holes in 1,200 yards. Rain Dance is in the final stages of grassing and will finish growing in next spring. It is scheduled to open in the summer of 2022, and it promises to be a big deal for the northern Colorado golf scene. And the random partnership created by these three guys is working out quite well. Every time we come out and we have the three of the musketeers or whatever you want to call us, the three stooges, three amigos. the three amigos, but Martin's with us every step of the way. He's had incredible input as well. The three of us have walked this property, I don't know how many times together, and we've all had all the different inputs. It's amazing. It's going to be very, very special. To go through the process like that and to be on site is just the most exhilarating creative thing that a golf architect can do. You know, you have to have something special in today's world. You can't be average, you can't be normal. You have to have something extraordinary, and this is extraordinary. Sounds good. I want to reserve a glamping spot so I can be close to the core. <laughs> we could set an air mattress in that manure spreader right there. <laughs> That's all I've earned here today? I've only known you for Is that what you think of the interview? I've only known you for about six hours, but you're as full of shit as any of these guys are. <laughs> all right. That's a wrap. Awesome. Right on. That was fun. <laughs>